Gradation analysis is achieved through a nested stack of test sieves with the largest mesh openings at the top and progressively smaller openings below, allowing the entire sample to be accurately measured as it passes through each layer of mesh. So, while test sieves are quite simple, they are still scientific instruments. And the most important consideration when it comes to selecting test sieves are the test specifications required for your specific gradation analysis. Let's briefly take a look at a few different test specifications and how they can help you select the right ASDM E11 and ISO 3310-1 test sieve. ASDM C136, standard test method for sieve analysis of fine and coarse aggregates, informs the operator on how to select ASDM E11 test sieves with suitable openings to furnish the information required for concrete asphalt mix designs. Besides covering sieve apparatus, sampling, procedures, and other considerations, the standard gives guidance on sieve openings, sieve surface area, maximum allowable quantity of material retained on a sieve, and selection of additional test sieves to prevent overloading or to provide further information such as fineness modules. Now, let's take a brief look at another ASDM standard that references ASDM C136, Standard Specifications for Concrete Aggregates, or ASDM C33. Among additional information, this specification further defines the sieve openings required for grading of fine and coarse aggregate used in concrete production, and is meant to be used by contractors and concrete suppliers as part of the purchase document describing the concrete material to be furnished. The standard test method for particle size distribution of soils using sieve analysis, ASTM D6913, goes into greater detail in particle determination of soils because of soil's vast variations, such as soil type and soil condition as well as covering sieve apparatus sampling procedures and other considerations. D6913 offers guidance on selecting sieves, including specifics on sieve height, standard and large diameter sieves, wet wash sieves, and identify specific sieve sizes required to determine the gradation of soils between 75 millimeters and 75 microns. And for soils with particle sizes greater than 75 millimeters, ASDM method D5519 should be used. And for soils finer than 75 microns, use ASDM method D7928. Let's take a brief look at non-construction material sieving applications with ASDM B214, standard method for sieve analysis of metal powders which covers the sieve analysis of dry metal powders, specifically using test sieves with opening ranges from 45 to 850 micrometers. ASDM B214 calls for sieve analysis using a specific mechanical sieve shaker and breaks down sample size based on the density of the dry powder, as well as informs the operator of variables that may affect the sieving characteristic of the powder, including sampling and humidity. Though we didn't go deep into the specifics of these standards, gradation analysis test specifications will advise you which sieve type and mesh sizes are needed, how many test sieves are required, as well as sample volume, acceptable loading limits for each sieve, and other determining factors to ensure accurate and repeatable test results. Gilson offers the ASDM Manual 32, a comprehensive guide for establishing ASDM-based sieve analysis procedures in your material testing lab. In this resource, you will find information on sieving apparatus, sampling, sieving procedures, and other considerations as well as a complete guide for ASDM published standards on sieve analysis procedures for specific materials or industry. For any questions about selecting the right test sieve for your gradation analysis, or for any Gilson product, please contact Gilson Technical Support 
or customer service. Gilson, your industry leader for materials testing equipment.